Hi, my name is Romy. Welcome and welcome back to Star Pages. Today, I am back wearing a lot of makeup for no reason. And instead of talking about how I failed my book, book of Loth on TBR, I'm going to be reviewing Kingdom of Souls, which was on my TBR for Book of Loth on. So, like, I didn't completely fail. But we're not talking about that. We're going to be reviewing. We're going to be reviewing Kingdom of Souls. I'm just going to read the synopsis of, of my computer because I... Don't trust myself to give my own synopsis and I don't have the time to be memorizing that right now. So, heir to two lines of powerful witch doctors, Ara yearns for magic of her own. Yet she fails at bone magic, fails to call upon her ancestors, and fails to live up to her family's legacy. Under the disapproving eye of her mother, the kingdom's most powerful priestess and seer, she fears she may never be good enough. But when the kingdom's children begin to disappear, Ara is desperate enough to turn to a forbidden, dangerous ritual. If she has no magic of her own, she'll have to buy it by trading away years of her own life. Ara's borrowed power reveals a nightmarish betrayal and on its heels, a rising tide of darkness that threatens to consume her and all those she loves. She must race to unravel a twisted and deadly scheme before the fight costs more than she can afford. Um, what the synopsis failed to mention was that Ara was always freaking horny. Not like the, the you know, steamy type of horny that, you know, goes somewhere. No, no, no. This girl is trying to save the world and like in like in the middle of a thought process, she's thinking about her crushes, not even her boyfriend, her crushes, chiseled ab, and well sculpted face and I'm like, okay sis, anyways, yeah, so I was really excited for this book but it did not live up to my expectations. I ended up giving it 3.5 stars because it was giving me, like it gave me the same feeling as drama on those trash reality tv shows not like not that the book was written the same like on the, the same way trash reality tv shows were or that like it, it wasn't the sit like the book itself wasn't the same but the entertainment level or the type of entertainment i felt was the same i would feel if i was watching one of those reality tv shows i don't know if that makes sense but like don't think this book is like a trash reality Sure. I went to talk about the I'm actually going to review it now. So I did like the writing, it did a good job of appealing to the senses. However, I didn't like the way the points of views were written. Most of the chapters were in Ara's points of view, but then throughout the chapters there were throughout the book there were single chapters written in so in a different character's point of view. And the idea, like the 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 concept of it like the concept behind writing it like that was pretty interesting but the delivery it fell flat so i didn't end up liking it as much as i probably could have a couple of points of views are from gods in the story and those most of those points of views take the form of a one-sided conversation so we only get the words that the god is speaking and if we don't hear the responses of the other person so we only get like a one-sided conversation and then their thoughts and it just felt like it wasn't well thought out enough it was just it was like yeah it kind of just like the point i didn't say the point of it if we weren't going to get everything i'm sure it was done that way for a reason like probably to add intrigue or suspense but as i said it just felt like the whole the book wasn't thought out completely and then the pacing of the story was all over the place like at the beginning it was like pretty slow with like the part where in the synopsis she says she borrows the magic and then she gets the ritual that happens pretty early on and then I think from that happens, that's where the pacing goes all over the place. Like, the second half of the book, the main villain for the second half of the book, and it's like, it was like a plot point for that character to age up as fast as they wished. So like, they were just born in the second part, and then, like, the next day they will be four years old or whatever, whatever. And that was another part I just felt like, okay, the author just wants to get past this part. So they're just, you know, skipping things or just like aging up the character up for shits and giggles. And I'm like, yeah, that could have been fast or a bit more because there's a whole bunch of story that storyline that just happens pretty quickly. And then we get to a fight scene and that is dragged out. And then there's a whole bunch of development that happens in like two pages because, you know, the character can age up how fast. I'm like, no develop something and then there are there were like parts that I, that it felt like a lot of things were happening like a lot of events were taking place in the book but the actual plot of the story was not moving at all like the actual story itself was not going from point a to point b it was like point a point a <laughs> a bunch of shit happening point a point five i should have said point one point one <laughs> stuff happening 
and then instead of going to point two, it's point one point five, and then in a bl in the blink of an eye, it's at point two, and I'm like, yeah, no. Next thing, I like the idea of the story, but once again, the delivery was not it. So the plot, the idea of the story, was pretty interesting. Unfortunately, there was another thing that fell flat. So the actual, the main main conflict of the story was introduced closer to the later on. It was introduced later on in the book, which is when the pacing was like flying all over the place. But like in the first part of the book, there was like a minor conflict. That's what the synopsis mostly talks about, that minor conflict for that part. And then there's a whole bunch of stuff happening that was like not what the synopsis talks about. And you know, I don't like when that happens because I don't like when the synopsis tells you about something and then that happens in the first part of the book and then the rest of the book is like not the story that you picked up the book for. Like, why would you do that? Just tell me what's happening. Like, that's why the synopsis is there. Anyways, um, yes, yeah, so the way how those conflicts were, you know, wrapped up, intertwined, that was fine. Props for that. I don't have a problem with, you know, two different conflicts. I don't have a problem with a minor conflict and a major conflict that, you know, are connected and whatever, whatever. But once the major conflict was introduced, that's where the pace, as I said, that's where the pacing was really flying all over the place. This is due to the main villain who was kind of an overpowered villain. I'm not gonna lie, like, the fact that they could age up and, like, they could age up of their own free will just to move the story along was one, was one thing, but, like, the powers that they had and the way they could use it almost immediately, it was, it kind of ruined the story for me a little bit. Also, Ara could not focus on the, 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 the Ara could not focus on the actual story, like, her own damn story to save her life. This girl is trying to save the world. Her friend died. And she's like, oh, I need to do this and this and this. But then she's like, oh, I need to go hang out in the river with, hang out by the river with Crush's name, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, Rujek, that's his freaking name. And I'm like, girl, make up your mind. Like, I'm, I'm not against romance in fantasy. Like, I'm not against a little side romance. I encourage it even, you know, a little extra spice. But like, this wasn't even a romance. Like, it was there. But like, in the beginning, it wasn't a romance. It was just like, this girl saying she needs to save the world and then she's like oh pa telling the villains pause that please and he's like admire this man's abs and i'm like hmm <laughs> anyway yeah she need to take a she need to take a little nap and sort out her priorities because it was not it so ara her best friend slash cross rujek that's the guy she was always admiring and her mother got the most character development and i was fine completely fine enjoyed it for the most part but then the other characters some more time could have been spent on them even when they were on the page even when they were getting like screen time they still had no development like ara's father was in the book quite a lot but then you know one of the plot points i get why he doesn't have as much development because of what happened in the book but then they are all like rujek's friends are in the book pretty frequently especially in the second part and i still don't know anything about them except for who them dating and i'm like Hmm, interesting. And then the main antagonist, there were a lot of details about the character, but there was not a lot of actual development in the character, especially because they aged up like that. And then once they started aging up, that's when the climax happened pretty quickly after that character was introduced. And as I said, they were very overpowered, so and their development was just, it fell flat. And then... Ara's relationship with her mother and her father were pretty interesting, especially her mother, because that's what got the most screen time. Screen time. Ara was not, like, completely happy with her mother. Like, she had more negative feelings towards her mother than positive, but she also had, like, a decent amount of positive feelings, and she explored that a little bit in the book, so it was pretty interesting. And her father was just, like, positive all the time, and... But he didn't get, you know, anyways. The world building. It was setting a fictional world with most of the prominent countries being African inspired. And the magic system was African, also African inspired. I like the world building. I think that was the most thought out. The world building and the magic system, I think that was the most thought out part of the book. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. That's it. I definitely think this could have, this book could have been improved in uh, quite a few years. And yeah, as I said, remember I said I gave it 3.5 stars. It would have been lower. But, like, the drama was there. And it was like, I feel like, like me making up drama. Because, like, I was reading the book and I'm like, haha, and I'm making up jokes. I think it was, like, me who made the entertainment level where it was. 
but I I want to read the sequel. I'm not excited for the sequel per se, but I do want to read the sequel to finish the story. You know what I mean? Like I know I only gave it three star, three point five stars because of the drama and like I had a lot of negative points. But I don't feel strongly about about it enough to discourage people from picking it up. And like I definitely didn't like it enough to like say yo yeah go pick this up. Definitely highly recommend or recommend. So that's it. Bye. Check out my description for links to all kind of things like other social medias where to find me um links to petitions and all kind of stuff regarding liking commenting and subscribing do what you want bye